Hey everyone, in this video we'll talk about Canvas in Unity. As you may know, Canvas is the base for any UI in Unity. So let's try to understand how it works and the different properties of Canvas. So let's start off by right clicking in the hierarchy, go to UI and click on Canvas. With this, Canvas would be added to your scene. Canvas is basically any game object with a Canvas component. As you can see here, the Canvas component is controlling the rec transform of this game object. Let's try to understand the different properties of this component. Starting off with Render Mode. Render Mode basically defines the space in which your Canvas will be rendered. So your Canvas can be rendered directly on the screen or it can be rendered in the world of your game. There are three available Render Modes. Screen Space Overlay, Screen Space Camera and World Space. Let's go through them one by one. Starting off with Screen Space Overlay. Screen space overlay basically makes it so that your UI is rendered directly on the screen and on top of the world. So for example, if I cover my entire screen with an image and then insert a cube, then we won't be able to see that cube in our game view. But what if we want to create a game where some of our game objects will come in front of the UI or we want some effect like that. For that, we can use screen space camera. Here we need to define a render camera for our canvas. This canvas will now be rendered in front of the camera facing the camera but at a certain distance from the camera. Now what we can do is move a cube closer to the camera then the canvas and it would become visible in the game view. Next we have world space. For world space we need to define an event camera. This camera would basically then be referenced for all the recasting and other event based interactions in the scene. But you don't need to worry about those big complicated words right now. Just remember a world space canvas can be used in the actual world space of your game. So if you wanted an HP bar on top of your player while in the world and not directly on the screen, you would use world space canvas. If you wanted to create UI elements that would reside in your world, you would need world space canvas. Next we have pixel perfect. This only applies in render mode screen space. So this forces elements in the canvas to be aligned with pixels. Basically, enabling pixel perfect makes your elements appear sharper and prevents blurriness. Next, we have target display. For example, if you're using secondary displays like a secondary monitor, then you can define in your canvas which monitor you would like your UI to be rendered on. This can be done using target display. So for example, if I choose target display as display 2 and then go to display 2 here in my game view, I will see my UI rendered on display 2. Next we have sort order. This defines the position of a canvas related to any other canvas in your scene. The higher the sort order, the more in front your canvas will be. So a sort order of 0 will be rendered behind a sort order of 1. Finally we have additional shader channels. Basically. The canvas always includes position, color and UV0 shader channels when generating the mesh for an overlay canvas and will usually include normal and tangent for screen space and word space canvas. Using this property, you can copy additional shader channels. This is an advanced topic and we will talk about it in later videos. If you found this video helpful, do consider telling the YouTube algorithm about it by liking and commenting on the video. Also consider subscribing to the channel for more such content. Thank you and we'll see you next time.